Confidence is an essential part of our emotional and mental well-being. It's what helps us face challenges, pursue our goals, and interact with others in a positive way. Unfortunately, many of us struggle with low self-esteem or self-doubt, which can hold us back from reaching our full potential. But don't worry, because in this video, I'm going to share with you some tips and techniques that will help you boost your confidence and feel more self-assured in different areas of your life. We'll start by discussing the causes of low confidence, such as negative self-talk, past experiences, and comparing ourselves to others. Then, we'll move on to some practical tips that you can use to boost your confidence, such as practicing self-care, setting realistic goals, and using positive affirmations. And finally, we'll explore some techniques that will help you improve your confidence, such as visualization, power posing, and taking small risks. These techniques may seem simple, but they can have a profound impact on your mindset and help you feel more confident in yourself and your abilities. So, whether you're struggling with low self-esteem or just looking to improve your confidence in certain areas of your life, this video is for you. Are you ready to boost your confidence? Let's get started. Understanding the causes of low confidence. In this section, we're going to talk about the causes of low confidence. Understanding these causes is the first step towards improving your confidence and building a more positive self-image. The first cause of low confidence is negative self-talk. This is when we criticize ourselves or focus on our flaws and shortcomings. Negative self-talk can be very damaging to our self-esteem and can prevent us from seeing our strengths and accomplishments. If you find yourself engaging in negative self-talk, try to reframe your thoughts in a more positive way. Focus on your strengths and accomplishments and remind yourself that you're capable of achieving your goals. The second cause of low confidence is past experiences. Negative experiences or criticism from others can impact our self-image and make us doubt our abilities. If you've had negative experiences in the past that have impacted your confidence, try to focus on the positive things you've learned from those experiences. Use them as an opportunity to grow and learn, and remind yourself that you're not defined by your past. The third cause of low confidence is comparing ourselves to others. It's easy to fall into the trap of comparing ourselves to others, especially in the age of social media, but this can be very damaging to our self-esteem. If you find yourself comparing yourself to others, try to focus on your own strengths and accomplishments instead. Remember that everyone has their own unique journey, and it's not fair to compare yourself to others. By understanding these causes of low confidence and taking steps to overcome them, you can start building a more positive self-image and feeling more confident in yourself and your abilities. Tips to boost your confidence. In this section, we're going to share some practical tips that you can use to boost your confidence. These tips are simple, but they can have a powerful impact on your mindset and help you feel more self-assured in different areas of your life. The first tip is to practice self-care. Taking care of your physical and emotional well-being is an essential part of building confidence. This can include things like exercising regularly, getting enough sleep, and practicing relaxation techniques like meditation or deep breathing. The second tip is to set realistic goals. When you set achievable goals and work towards them, you build confidence in your abilities and see tangible progress towards your aspirations. Make sure your goals are specific, measurable, and relevant to your life and interests. The third tip is to use positive affirmations. These are statements that you repeat to yourself that reinforce positive beliefs and self-image. Examples include I am capable, I am worthy, and I am confident. Repeating these affirmations regularly can help you build a more positive mindset and boost your confidence. The fourth tip is to surround yourself with positive and supportive people. Surrounding yourself with people who encourage and believe in you can make a big difference in how you feel about yourself and your abilities. And the fifth tip is to challenge negative thoughts and beliefs. When negative thoughts or beliefs pop up, try to challenge them with evidence and logic. Ask yourself if they are based on reality or if they are just a product of negative self-talk. By practicing these tips, you can start building a more positive self-image and feeling more confident in yourself and your abilities. Techniques to improve your confidence. In this section, we'll be discussing some practical techniques that you can use to improve your confidence. These techniques are based on proven psychological research and can help you feel more self-assured in various situations. The first technique is called visualization. This involves creating a mental image of yourself succeeding in a particular situation, whether it's a job interview, public speaking, or a sports competition. Visualizing yourself achieving your goals can help build confidence and reduce anxiety. The second technique is called power posing. This involves adopting an open, expansive body posture, like standing up straight with your shoulders back, or placing your hands on your hips in a superhero pose. Research has shown that power posing can increase feelings of confidence and reduce stress hormones like cortisol. The third technique is called desensitization. This involves gradually exposing yourself to situations that make you feel anxious or uncomfortable, such as speaking in public or meeting new people. 
By facing your fears in a controlled way, you can build confidence and reduce anxiety over time. The fourth technique is called positive self-talk. This involves replacing negative self-talk with positive, empowering statements such as I can do this or I am confident and capable. Positive self-talk can help shift your mindset from self-doubt to self-belief. And the fifth technique is called fake it till you make it. This involves acting as if you're confident, even if you don't feel it. By practicing confident body language, speaking assertively, and taking bold actions, you can start to feel more confident over time. By using these techniques, you can develop a greater sense of confidence and feel more self-assured in various areas of your life. So try incorporating these techniques into your daily routine and watch your confidence soar. Conclusion And that brings us to the end of this video on boosting your confidence. We've covered a lot of ground from understanding the causes of low confidence to exploring practical techniques to improve your self-assurance. Remember, confidence is not something that you're born with, but rather a skill that can be developed through practice and repetition. By implementing the tips and techniques we've discussed, you can gradually build your confidence and achieve your goals with greater ease and self-assurance. Before we wrap up, I want to remind you that confidence is not about being perfect or never experiencing fear or self-doubt. It's about having the courage to take action despite those feelings and believing in yourself and your abilities. So go out there and take on new challenges, embrace your strengths and weaknesses, and remember that you are capable of achieving great things. Thank you for watching, and I hope these tips and techniques have been helpful in boosting your confidence.